Okay, so a big thing with similar figures or polygons is proportionality. Um, so we're going to be just reviewing how to determine if a ratio or two ratios are proportional. Um, so for number one, it says tell whether these ratios form an equal proportion or are in equal proportion. We have 5 over 3 and 35 over 21. One way to determine if these are equal would be to divide this by the greatest common factor and it reduces, so we divide by 7, and it reduces to 5 over 3. And 5 thirds is equal to 5 thirds, so yes, those two ratios are proportional. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I just do. Okay, and then we look at number two, and we try to do the same thing, but it's a little bit more complicated. Um, so another way to see if ratios are proportional is to divide these and figure out if they come out to the same decimal. So the next way is to do like 9 divided by 24 in a calculator and 24 divided by 64 in a calculator. And if they come out to the same decimal, they are proportional. So in the calculator, I'm doing 9 divided by 24 and 24 divided by 64 and they come out to 0 0.375 both times. So since they come out to the same decimal, then these two ratios are proportional. So yes, proportional. Okay, so then for number three, same thing, we're gonna do eight divided by 56 and six divided by 28 to get see if we get the same decimal. So in the calculator. And 6 divided by 28. Okay, these come out to two different decimals. Two different, so that means these are not proportional. So this came out to 0.14. This came out to about 2.21. So no, these ratios are not proportional. Okay, so 4 through 6, repeating that same process, 18 divided by... 4, 27 divided by 9. I can do this one in my head that just comes out to 3. And I know 18 divided by 4 isn't going to come out to 3. Comes out to 4.5. So since these divided to two different numbers, it's a no. At this point, we can kind of stop writing all the work here. 15 divided by 21. 0.714. 55 divided by 77 comes out to 0.714. Oh, same thing. Cool. So this one is a yes. And then number six. Again, I'm just going to plug these in the calculator. 26 divided by 8. 39 divided by 12 comes out to the same number, 3.25. So I get 3.25 and 3.25. So yes, those ratios are proportional. Okay. Next thing I just want to review, and you did this with the cross multiplication worksheet as well. Okay, I'm going to move up here. Okay, so I'm moving up to like this empty space up here, and I'm going to go over one more skill that you need to know. Okay, so um, let's say we have the problem 33 over n equals 11 over 3. There's different ways to solve for n. You could notice that 11 times 3 is 33, so 3 times 3 is 9, and you could figure it out that way. However, that won't work for the more complicated problems, and that's why I had you practice the cross multiplication. If you haven't done your cross multiplication worksheet, if your work doesn't look like this, I don't want it. Like, this is what the process is, and by practicing that process, it makes the harder ones easier. So here, n times 11, 11n, and 33 times 3 is 99. Then the next step to solve for n, divide by 11, we get n equals 9. Okay, so what might a harder problem look like? Well, let's see, how about this? X plus 2 
over 3 equals 8 over 9. Okay, so with this same process, we're solving for x. We're going to use cross multiplication. 3 times 8 is 24. And then for this, this is where some students get stuck. Um, this is how you set it up, 9 times x plus 2, like that. And then you go through the solving process, distribute this 9 to both of these terms. equals 9x divided by 9 on both sides and x equals 6 ninths or if you wanted to simplify it it comes out to 2 thirds or as a decimal 0.6 repeating Okay, so now we're going to move over to the other page.